know, since we have a lot of steel beams, might as well just put them back here. I'm going to get rid of this stack. Okay, so we just have one stack now. Okay, this is actually doing well. Except... I think I overclocked this too much. And didn't overclock this enough. Oh well, let's keep it as is. Or, you know what? Just in case. Like, let's take off one power shard. And those aren't overclocked because it's feeding steel pipes. And we are using a lot of steel pipes now. And what's this? More encased industrial beams. Okay, so let's go over... Over here. Looks like we need to expand this area because... We need a lot more... Uh, copper... Sheets here. How are we going to do this? Okay, so we're going to have to like... Have this sticking out a little bit more. If we're going to like increase... The area here. Uh... Where are you? Constructors. And we can, like... Okay, we're gonna have to use a little bit more room here. Okay, so... Actually, that's... We need to turn that around. Damn. Okay, we'll do that. There's one. There's two. Three. Four. Five, six. Ah, damn it. Seven and eight. We are missing cables, damn it. Okay, please tell me I have cables in here. No, I don't. Ah, damn it. I need to get cables from somewhere. I completely forgot about the cables. I got the wires. But not the cables, so I'm gonna have to manually make some cables. Damn. Oh my god. I can't believe I did that. Okay, we'll stick with 50 for now. And here comes the autosave. Come on. Right up. Okay, so we're gonna have like eight more constructors for copper sheets, and that's going to feed into the circuit boards. I'll just get these connected up first. Okay, this is for copper sheets right here. Good thing it's at the top of the list. I don't like scrolling down all the way. Okay, now we just need the splitters and mergers, and then we'll worry about how to get these off the line. Splitters go... This way. Two... 
Wait a minute. We'll do this. And then splitter here, splitter here. Oops. Okay. Probably should consider taking a break soon. But we will continue doing this for now. Splitter goes this way. You know what? If need be, I could probably do... Expand over here a little bit more. So we'll put a splitter here. So it gives me that option to like expand in that direction. Like sometimes you just gotta plan ahead a little bit more. Now how am I gonna do this? Now what I want to do is like get a merger over here. Let's put a splitter like right here. And maybe I'll put a splitter like right here. There. And then we'll put Yeah, we'll do it like this. There we go. So now that's getting copper ingots and then both of these lines will be feeding this. Hmm. Or better yet, you know what? Get rid of this merger. Get rid of this merger or that splitter. Might as well put the merger over here. And then put the splitter like right here. This way this thing can feed into this line. Or... What am I doing? Put a merger like right here. Uh, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna attach. Is it? So why don't I just put like a splitter over here? Because that happens. Okay, so splitter over here and then lift. Like. Move it a little bit more. Okay, splitter here. Lift here. Merger here. The conveyor belt has an invalid shape. I'll show you invalid shape. Okay, so do this. There. And there we go. What's this thing doing? Okay, so. What the hell am I doing? This is a splitter. And this 
is a merger. And merge this over here. There. That way, this top line can also feed this middle line. It's kind of weird, but it works, so let's just leave it at that. And I can always just overclock these. And probably find another iron ore node somewhere over there just to supplement the steel production there. Anyway... Still need to... This. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, remove that. And this is completely powered off. So... I think it's time to power this on. There. And next... Put the merger this way. Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight. You know what, maybe we should leave the Caterium to another play session because it is getting kind of late here. Let's just finish this up. And I still need to like put down foundations there. But anyway, there we go. Eight additional copper sheets, constructors, that's 80 per minute additional. So hopefully that will be enough to address the bottleneck there. Let's see how many are. 4, 8, 12. This is 20 constructors, so 200 per minute. And do we have enough copper going in here? You know what? I don't think we do. Let's overclock this. Come on, let's go. So we're gonna do... Add another 150 per minute. And this will be fine. Oh yeah, and then I'll need to like add additional boundaries here if I expand the copper sheets further over here. So that might be a bit of a problem. Or maybe we can do the foundries here, but then we wouldn't be able to do additional copper sheets. Man, this entire area is so tiny. Or maybe I can like do it in that area over there. Well, either way... I'm gonna have to go back up there, so let's just do that. Travel through here. We have plenty of coal here. Did I overclock this? Oh, this is still an MK2 miner. Hmm. Okay. Well then, we got more copper sheets now. Going into these machines. It looks like it's beginning to saturate, so I think we've addressed this. Now, we shouldn't be able to overclock, but at the very least, this will run at 100%. Okay, attach these. I think I can upgrade this. There we go. Yeah, okay, so everything's going well around here. Except this one. I 
But I think that'll be addressed once everything is saturated. So this is 55 per minute, 5,500. Wait, no, it's not going to be saturated. Never mind. It's 27. Like this is 55 per pair. So this four is already 110. Eight is 220. So no, it's not saturated. But it's still an improvement, so I'll take it. And then I'll just have to be mindful of expanding this later on. Okay, so I'm thinking... Yeah, I think this is done. Let's go back. And then I'll save the Caterium for another play session. But I do want to get some slugs on my way back, so... Yeah, there's a slug right there. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. It's just a green slug, but that's okay. I have to check for slugs in this region. Oh, there's another slug there. Like, I was already up there, but... Ooh. Is that the same stingray? Hmm. Well, there's a slug there. You know what? Might as well just... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Da, 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 da. No. Okay, I don't see any slugs over there. You know, let's just grab that purple slug real quick. Because it is purple, and I see slugs over there as well. Maybe I should get them. Or not. Okay, so there's sulfur. There's green slug there. Let's just get that. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's just do that. Oh yeah, cables. That's right. I need cables. Completely forgot about the cables, but I do still want that slug up there. I thought I cleared it, but apparently not. So let's just clear it. Just real quick. Oh shit, I regret jumping it down here. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, can I get back up here? No, I can't. No, I can't. I'm swimming. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that was stupid, but it was even stupider to forget about the cables. Wait, don't I have like a container of stuff there? Like I have numerous containers where I just leave stuff just in case. I might have like cables up there or over here. There's a container here. No, they're just copper sheets. <laughs> Damn you. Oh, I do have containers there as well. And it's just biomass. Damn you. Okay, so I will have to make some cables. Like, let's just do this real quick. Might as well get the power shard here. Where are you? So, what I'm going to do is just get the slugs around this area. Because I saw purple slugs as well. This would be so much easier if I just had taken several stacks of cables. But instead, I'm doing this. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm going to make like 120. Hope that's enough. Yeah, 120. Okay, let's go. So we're going back up there. I only I said I was only going to be there once, but now I'm going back up there and it kind of does look purple. Kind of. But I think it's because of the fog. Like once we get closer, I'll know for sure.
And I did leave this entire infrastructure here, so I don't need to rebuild it. We'll just follow the path. And I did leave a crafting bench there. Is that uranium ore? Wait, what is this? What is this node? That's not a node, never mind. Like, it kinda looked like a resource that I should be trying to secure. Since it's like so close by. But never mind, it's nothing. So we're flying up here again. And there's a slug there. It's so much easier to see the slugs during the night. Wait. Wait, I went up through here. Or you know what, let's go... Just build the power lines here. Now we've already been up there, so there's nothing left. That's just a yellow slug. Damn you, purple fog. Is like anything here? No. Probably not. Okay, so I want to play it safe. We'll just go down through the power lines. Oh shit. Careful. Careful. Okay, now we can go down. Did I not? I didn't take that slug over there. Alright. Detour real quick. No. I didn't, like, put down power lines there, so... Alright, let's go do this. I just want that slug over there since I already saw it. Alright, there you are, sluggy. Let's go take you. You're just a green slug. And I guess I'll leave the rest of the slugs over there for the next play session. For now, let's just head back to base. Whoa, let me check the power real quick. Yeah, we're still good on power. Okay, let's just follow this path, head back to base, and then I'll take that break. And here comes the autosave. I probably need to expand that steel production a little bit more. But we're going down here. Okay, let's just do these power shards real quick. All right, let's head back to base. Oh, wait a minute. What's with the copper? Copper looks kind of thin. Uh-oh. All right. Check this out. Oh, this is an MK2 miner, and it is partially overclocked. Oh, that's right. So, can we afford the MK3 right now? We need three miners. So, yes, we can afford it. Let's just do that real quick. And then let's just do a bunch of other things real quick. Make this play session go on even longer. And there we go. So 240 per minute. How much are you consuming now? 37.5 per minute. 
so really not that much. Or wait, 75, 75, 225. So it's 225 per minute. This is 240, so you're fine. I don't need to overclock you just yet. Let's go back. Oh, jeez. You know, I'm going to throw these away. Like, they're cheap to make anyway, so I don't want them in my inventory. But we did pretty good this play session. We got two new products automated and finished that milestone. We got the cooling systems and the... Oh, uh, what, what do you call it? Turbo motors. Oh, I don't like this fog. Is this like the pollution fog? You know what? Never mind. I won't question you, game. I just move up here and then that fog disappears. So I'm pretty sure there was like two purple slugs I saw there. But we'll get that another time. Right now, I should also check this real quick. Okay, this is fine. But we don't need to do anything here. And we will do something with the Caterium there. We'll make stators. And then we'll build like another conveyor line up here on top of the hyper tubes. Yeah, so we'll take some of those st uh, steel pipes, bring it over there and make the stators. And then bring the stators through here. That's the plan, anyway. I should probably explore some of the, the parts over here as well. Like, I haven't really been exploring the places near my factory, but I've been, been exploring, like, out there in the wilderness. Like, let me check this map. Yeah, I've been exploring, like, this region over here. I haven't really been exploring any further over here, but I did see a lot of slugs there. So if we need lots of slugs, then we'll go hunting later on. You know what? Before we go on break, I might as well just check this thing right here. See how we're doing. Oh, this is almost done. So we can turn this off sooner rather than later. Okay, let's just go back to the hub. And I'm just going to end it here. Okay, save the game. So we got... We're working on staters for... More motors. That's a good save file right there. Alright, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, I will see you next time. Take care.